Let's have a sesh on the difference between change in percentage and percentage change. Both of these types of questions are very likely to feature in your exams. I would suspect you might get one in each paper, probably for two or three marks. But it's important that you know the difference between the wording of these questions and how to apply it to the information. So let's go through each in detail. So the first type of question is here. So calculate the change in the percentage of revenue from Asia between 2018 and 2019. And we're going to use this data here. So let's go through. So calculate the change in the percentage of revenue from Asia between 2018 and 2019. So here you can see there are three different regions that this company makes its revenue in. So Africa, Europe and Asia. And clearly you're looking for Asia. So we take Asia here and we see that in 2018, 36 million came from Asia in terms of revenue and the total revenue, which is just adding up these three together, was 90 million. So what you need to do when it says change in the percentage is work out the percentage coming from Asia of the revenue in each of the years. So in year one, it's simply 36 divided by 90 times by 100, and that comes to 40%. It's just the same way that you normally calculate percentages. And then you do the same thing for 2019. In 2019, it seems that much more sales are coming from Asia, so 60 million. And as a whole, it is a total revenue of 120 million. So we know that's 50%, but we can just quickly show the method for calculating that. So 60 divided by 120 times by 100 to make it a percentage. So in 2019, 50% of the revenues were coming from Asia. The question says, calculate the change in the percentage. Well, the change in the percentage is simply the difference between these two numbers. And you'll take 50 minus 40, so therefore, the change in the percentage is 10% plus 10%. It's increased by 10%. That is different in terms of changing the percentage to percentage change. Now, percentage change is asking for a different type of answer. Let's look at a question here. So calculate the percentage change of the total revenue from 2018 to 2019. So the total revenue is in this column here, and we can see in 2018, it is 90 million pounds. And in 2019, it is 120 million pounds. When you do percentage changes, the thing to remember is new minus old divided by old times by 100. For more details on that, click on the icon just up there for a full explanation of percentage changes. But remember, new number minus old number divided by old number times by 100. So I put it here, but let's just apply the numbers. So the new number is clearly the latter year, so 120 million, minus the previous year, so 120 million minus 90 million, divide that by the old number, which is the latter year, so that's 90 million, so 120 minus 90 divided by 90 times by 100, because it's looking for a percent, and so that is the percentage change, and if you work that out, you'll see that the percentage change is 33.3%. Percent, and that's calculated to one decimal place. So, very important to know the difference between change in the percentage and percentage change. It's so likely you'll see these questions this summer in both of your exams, so be ready for them and smile when those questions come up. I hope you're enjoying these videos, and I'll see you at the next one.